Hi there, in this tutorial video we are going to be verifying some Verilog control code using the PSIM mod coupler module. Um, so this is just an example from the example circuit. Uh, let's just start the simulation and see what happens. So uh, I've started the simulation. We can see that uh, model sim has started up in the background here. Um, so this little block down here, this was pointing towards uh, my Verilog.b file which was this one here. So this is running now in the background. Uh, I'm, I'm also pointing towards my wave file as well here. And then I've got some input and output nodes defined and then some other um, bits here about starting a uh, model sim. Okay, so I'll close that down. While this is running, we can still look at some runtime graph windows. So we can look at what's going on there. We can look at what we're pushing into model sim down here so those are that's our current feedback that's being that's uh, our Verilog code is is churning through and uh, we're almost done the simulation so we can see here here's the output so we see our analog control is working a little bit faster than the Verilog control as one might expect and we also look down here as well and see uh, that on the output voltages so again we've just got a PI controller to find um, on the current of the inductor. So uh, that's a quick look at, at the simulation results there. We can also, let me just minimize that, we can also come into uh, model sim and we can look at the signals in, as the wave file. Uh, so we can just convert these into an analog signal rather than a digital signal. Uh, what other signals can we look at? That might be of interest. Let's look at uh, the error. Let's just zoom out a bit so we can actually see them as something. So there we have it. So we've got the same signals that are being pushed in um, from PSIM. Uh, we can see that we're actually quantizing this, uh, these signals as they come into uh, as they come into the Verilog code. So if we look at the code. Uh, we can pull it up um, here, display file, or we could have uh, opened it up over here. But anyways, we can see that we've got our uh, definition at the top here, and then we're defining, um, so reset n, il, iref, so we can see that these are the signals that are coming in here, and we've got an output showing up here. So as you change these, these will get updated in here, and um, we see here that this is a a quantized number, well, uh, a bit, a 16-bit number, which is what this is doing to that signal there. So, yeah, that's the the basic gist of how this all works. Um, what we can do is uh, to rerun the sim simulation. We need to go back in here. We need to simulate. We need to go restart, and then we need to hit uh, run here, and then we need to come back in here, and we need to hit run all, and then we're off to the races again. Okay, so that's the mod coupler module. Uh, you will, if you have the module enabled, you'll find the blocks will be hidden down here in control. Well, not necessarily hidden, but the mod coupler blocks. You can run them with uh, VHDL. Let me just move this out of the way. VHDL or Verilog. So PSIM with mod coupler will be able to run VHDL code or Verilog code in a co-simulation mo mode. Okay, thanks so much for watching. Check back again for more videos.